What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another shoe cleaning video. And today, we're going to be restoring these Ultra Beat Nike training shoes. Now, now this is going to be kind of a challenge. Probably the most beat shoes I've done. Can't really see on the camera, but like, oh, they're bad. So yeah, let's just get right into this. Oh uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the right shoe, and we're going to put the left shoe over for before and after purposes. So, the first thing I want to do is obviously unlace the shoe. Now that the shoes are unlaced, I'm going to take my medium bristle brush and just try to get off all the excess dirt. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lint roller and just kind of get all the hair like dog hair that's out of here because the owner of these shoes apparently has dogs Woo! now that we're done with that the next thing we're gonna do is take my goat cleaning solution and apply it to my medium bristle brush You don't want a lot, maybe just a couple drops to get it all over the brush. Then I'm gonna dip it in water. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my cleaning rag and just kind of wipe off all the soap. Now, while that's drying, we're going to do the bottom of the shoe. For this, you're going to want to take your hard bristle brush, again, apply your cleaning solution to it, and just like go over the top. Not too much, but not too little. Dip it in your water, and scrub. Now, what I like to do is I kind of do a little bit of Innovating. I like to take Q-tips just to get into the middle of these crevices. Now that most of it's out, we're just going to want to go over it one more time. Once again, take your Q-tip. Now we're going to let some of the su um, sud set because now the top is dry. Next thing we're going to want to do is take our soft bristle brush and get the cleaning solution on it. With that soft bristle brush, you're going to want to just scrub the uppers again. The next thing I would do is take um, an object like this and just get into the little piece of here where there's like grass. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is remove these nasty insoles. Ugh. I'm going to take this again and just kind of go over it to get all the excess stuff I can off. Next, I'm going to take my soft bristle brush, dip it, and start cleaning these. Now these insoles are looking a lot better. Back to the shoe. The next thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of detail work all the way around the shoe. Next, I'm going to take my hard bristle brush, dip it, and just go all the way around the outsoles again. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is take this lighter and get all these little strands that have popped up. Yes, this is an excuse to play with fire. <laughs> next, I'm just going to get a little bit more of the detail work. Now 
that's about it for the shoe. I'm just gonna finish up a couple more details and then I'll see you when I'm done. All right, y'all, so this is the final product. Compare and contrast. I think I brought these back. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, but yeah, here's a couple pictures I just took of them. Bow.